Hello. Can I look you straight in the eye? First, I have to get these damn control things figured out. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly here. All set. A bit cool in the old house today. The day before official. Now, is that correct in saying that? It's Empire Day, May 24th. Queen Victoria's actual birthday was May 24th. Of course, we had a couple of lead-up video YouTubes on this, the Dinosaur News. We had a couple of lead-up videos announcing Victoria Day and Empire Day, which were celebrated here in Canada last weekend. Dinosaur News brought to you today by the British People's League dot com. May 23rd. Tomorrow, Empire Day. Our buddies in the motherland uh, have a, a sale. Candor.org.uk, C-A-N-D-O-U-R.org.uk. They're having a special sale for Empire Day. So I'm giving that a plug. We give reciprocal plugs all the time. Candor League and the British People's League. We're patting each other's back. Together like glue in the thunderstorm called patriotism. Well, the only comment yours truly has to make about the elections in Britain yesterday and those going towards the uh, European Parliament, blah, blah, blah. I mean, sure, it looks good to have a Tea Party type party organization get, a, get some more votes. But we've got to look ahead at this situation. You know, we're not, we're not playing this for for votes or getting in the legislature and the parliament and what can be done. Do you think that the, the democratic elections are going to produce men and women who are tough enough to tackle the reins of the multicultural invasion? I don't think so. And every day they're counting votes. There's thousands more babies being born to the third world who will be living in Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. I mean, just look again at the inner city invasions. Look again at the population figures in the Republic of South Africa and the Boer minority that are hanging on. They're tough. They're tough as nails, but I don't know what to say. Uh, they'll survive. They'll they'll survive any any commotions because the the white race is needed in South Africa just as everywhere else. Just have another look at that Wikipedia map on South Africa, and look up uh, the top the top edge. The Popo, the top corner. The color chart. That color chart tells it like it is. There's a white section of white boards left. They're prepared to fight for their racial survival, and so are we of the British People's League. Legally, of course, when our throats are up against the wall. I, I've, I've been sent fi figures, names, and how they died of many South African patriotic Boers and uh, and just not in the mood to read out the, the gruesome murder list, uh, those murdered by the multi-cults. So I'm trying to give an overall picture here of down the road we have to be looking at, not, not a current electioneering well then, you know, the argument, well, we could be in power, we could change things. Change what? They'll change nothing. Milk toast. The cell system we have been providing and promoting must stand as the only first line of defense for our race anywhere on the globe. While the voting goes on, regardless of a few gains by candidates who talk a wee bit about racial survival. 
Oh, it's all very nice and comforting to have a lifeboat that looks good, but check underneath the, the hull of the lifeboat and you'll find the, the leak is just is just there. The multicultures are just burying more and more children every minute while we're yapping. The cell structure legally must be in place, as Winston Churchill talked about in case of invasion. We've already been invaded, our countries. The cities have been invaded. But when it gets really out of hand, that's when we have to have our cell structures in place. And with the modern internet, we can be in place on a global scale, in touch with each other on a global scale, those of our white race. British stock, British heritage and ancestry, our Boer cousins, our new, our new partners in the struggle. I don't talk about Europe much because I don't know how it's going to turn out with, with the, 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 the nationalist parties. That, that stiff arm salute business makes me nervous because that'll that will turn every a lot of, make it a lot harder to recruit people for our cell structure system. But then I guess any gains are better than none. But no false illusions, please. Look at the inner cities. Look at Toronto, Jane and Wilson Corridor, Bradford in Britain, Birmingham. Leeds. To think that this massive multicult flood of our culture and our way of life, this multicult flood, to think that our way of life is going to be going to be saved by the ballot box, as Peter Pan land thinking, Peter Pan and Tinker Bell. An international cell structure legally laid down in advance for our patriots in the Western world is the only structure that is going to preserve us. Again, have a look at Limpopo, South Africa, and the Winnipeg Wikipedia color chart by race. I'm not saying it means certain death for our Boer cousins. I'm just stressing the numbers of the multi-cult. The face of the reality. Votes can't preserve us. Elementary cells can, must, and will. The underground succeeded in the Second World War. Preparation is the key to our racial survival. Preparation is the key to our racial survival. Legal preparation to defend our lands, however it takes. Could call this an appendix to last weekend's Victoria Day and Empire Day message. That's for sure. Legal preparation to defend our lands, however and whatever it takes. If by some miracle a vote box victory, ballot box victory, gave gains to a patriotic political party, once that said political party makes a major move against the multi-cult invaders, then the bullets will fly from the prepared enemy gunfire at us, aimed at us. Once the said party makes a major move, say the Tea Party types or the UKIP party or whoever, makes a major move against the multi-cult invaders, then the bullets will fly from the prepared enemy gunfire at us, aimed at us. And by death by bullet, it almost be a pleasure compared to how the Boers would be tortured farmers isolated in the outbacks. Our friends at South African Farm Watch and similar such situations 
are keeping the Boers on full alert so they can help each other. And the security guard companies in South Africa are keeping our Boer friends alive, as well as their own guts and determination and arms, ARMS. I think I got that point across. So the the outcome of, of the elections in, in Britain and and the European Parliament. They don't mean a damn to the overall picture for the white race. We're being outbred and outnumbered. The only thing that's going to work for our survival is our superior brain power. Ah! Superior? Did I use the word superior? Where did all the inventions come from? I mean, let's face it. It's our wits, our brain power, that will outmaneuver the mob. Our brains, our guts, our willpower will outmaneuver the mob. But the plan for this maneuvering must be in place. And yes, we're getting it acquired, the cell structure, the legal cell structure, and reread the Wikipedia article on the British resistance as to the cell structure. It's right into the fine activities of the cell structure three quarters of the way down the article. So that's basically the message that I'd like to leave you with today, May 23rd. Enjoy tomorrow, Empire Day, May 24th, the official date. Just the fact that you're celebrating that date, there's our link with history right there. So enjoy yourselves. And I always wear the Aussie hat as often as possible, showing our totally equal linkage with our Aussie friends and patriots. I may not have as much to say. I still haven't been able to connect with a reporter who reported goings on in Australia, as did passed away Nick Main a year and a half ago. I'm sure there's someone else out there who could pass details as to patriotic activities to the British People's League here. Or email BritishCanada at gmail.com BritishCanada at gmail.com British People's League BritishPeople'sLeague.com and again, for Candor, for their special sale coming up, check it out, candor.org.uk, C-A-N-D-O-U-R.org.uk. And just a reminder that you won't be hearing much about American White Patriot news any longer on these shows. It's too confusing for this boy. My nerves couldn't handle it, following all of the... The different aspects, we're, we're trying to stick up for our race and our peoples. Our British American friends have got quite the, quite the battle on their hands just organizing white people with the, so many different aspects and so much infighting. But I, I, I would still emphasize the Amron people, American Renaissance, and our friends at the League of the South. But I, I have to tell you, it's not knocking our American Patriot friends, of course not, but whew, my nerves are a lot better since I've stepped aside from the American white scene and sticking to our, our British root blood associates and friends in the motherland, keeping in touch with friends on Facebook in Australia. New Zealand, we think of Gibraltar and the Falklands. And you want to check out some patriotic people, click into Facebook. I have it listed under John Beatty Facebook. 
to the right on the BritishPeople'sLeague.com homepage. Great big F for Facebook, the blue Facebook. And just click on there and check out. There's a couple of personal friends who who are not heavy duty into our cause, but they have to be a little bit. I don't associate with anyone that doesn't care at all. But uh, you um, check into some of these fine people and you may wish to request them as a friend. This is how it begins, building up contacts for the requested and desired and needed, obligated cell structures. Okay, so have a great Empire Day, and we'll talk at you next time. Thanks for tuning in, and our bulldog, of course, wants to say hello. And goodbye for now.